Well, hello and welcome back to My House of Mystical Embers. So for today's video, we are doing an unboxing. Yes, it's my first spring unboxing and I'm super, super, super excited. Of course I always am. But anyway, if you guys wanna see what I got in my boxes, then please stay tuned. Well, hello and welcome back my Glitzy Goddess Squad and welcome to any new viewers out there today. And I do sure hope that you decide to become part of my glam fam today. And if you do, then please hit that subscribe button and that little bell notification up at the top. That way you can be notified when I upload new content. So for today, we are doing a unboxing and this, oh my God, this thing is like really getting on my nerves. So yes, yeah, so I'm doing my unboxing. Well, I'm actually doing my videos right now in the living room. We finally got a couch. I just haven't got any little aesthetics back here yet, um, but they're coming, they're in the works. So anyway, so today is an unboxing. I have a couple boxes that were actually from last month, but I just received them this month. Um, so as of right now, um, I am only have FabFitFun and Fashionsta. I actually canceled my Slay Glam, um, but I do have two, I have one more box from Slay Glam coming and then that will be the end of that one. Um, but the only ones that I'm keeping is um, Fashionsta and um, my FabFitFun box, maybe, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of on the fence about that one too. Um, where is it? I keep seeing this white thing, but I don't see it. Is it over here? Oh my God, it's just something on my phone. <laughs> I have this white speck on my phone and I kept thinking that it was on the pillow. And so there for a second, I thought I was going to go crazy. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, so let's get into this little unboxing that I have going on here today. And you might have to wait one second because I really need to adjust the legs on this because for some reason my phone holder, it like, it just keeps like dropping down. And this is like so, cause I feel like I have to keep going like this. You know what I mean? Or else like part of my head's gonna get cut off. So one. Okay, so sorry about that. So yeah, so I hope that everybody is doing um, fine. I hope everybody is staying happy, healthy, and safe. How is everybody? I haven't been on in a while. Um, I'm just more or less, I think I'm just going to be really doing this more so as a hobby because this is something that I really enjoy doing. Um, so you will see me putting some content up periodically, um, but not on a consistent basis um, due to the fact that I'm still trying to build my other channel up. So my focus is really going to be on there for right now, at least until whenever the universe permits to open me a way to try to be able to concentrate on two channels. Um, but anyway, so yeah, so if you guys are interested in free readings, um, be sure to check my channel out, Divine Triad 1111. The or not the description, but the link is in the description box down below. So head on over there and, um, yeah, and I do, mm, and I do free readings. <clears throat> So yeah, so anyway, um, let's get into this unboxing, shall we? So the first thing that I'm gonna unbag is my Slay Glam, and this was for last month, for the month of February. So this was actually the Valentine's bag here. So we're gonna open this up and see what we got. Oh, we got something in this bag here. And then we have, oh. Ooh. And then we have some goodies in here. And then it looks like we have this pretty um, pink lipstick. And I didn't really see any spoilers for this. So let's see what we got. All right, so I wanna open this up. I'm really curious to see what this is. And you guys know that I never get any card in my Slay Glam, so I can't give you guys pricing on that, so I do apologize. But I mean, it's well worth it. Ooh. Ooh, we got eye brushes. I needed me some new brushes, actually. Oh, wow, these are pretty. I like the bright neon. This is like really cool for spring with spring coming up. So yeah, that's amazing. I love that. And I'm really curious. I wanna see what this pretty pink lipstick is because 
you guys know that I like glitter and I like shimmery shiny stuff so I just I seriously cannot help myself I gotta open and see what it is I need to see what the color is that way I can show you guys and who is this by I don't even see oh this is from Oakland Oakland cosmetics oh well the lid popped off okay <laughs> so here is the packaging which is really pretty glittery it says soul so solo so it says solo on the bottom so i'm thinking maybe this is the color Ooh, this is a pretty like glittery red color if you guys can see that that's real pretty that's a nice red even though I don't wear red, so that's the only thing that sucks. But I wanted to see what the color was, and Odin is eating the plastic packaging. I don't know why. My cats are so weird, I swear to God. All right, so let's see what else we got in here. Okay, we have another product from Oakland, which is the Natural Color Dimensional Highlighting Palette, which is here. Really cute packaging. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. Oh. So this is a highlight palette and this is what it looks like here. I probably will not swatch this. Um, I have a lot of highlighters, so this is probably gonna be passed down to somebody else in my family. I'll make up a nice little gift box. My daughter has too much makeup, so it's going to somebody else. And next we have this, this is called Double Dare. 4 HD Sleek Eyeliner, and this is the packaging. So this is interesting, I've never seen, oh. So we have a liquid on one end, is it, is it a double? Okay, I'm trying to put this, is there an end? Okay, what is this? What are these? Okay, this eyeliner is kind of, oh, so this pops out. Oh, is this something that you change? Okay, interesting. Or maybe that's just the way the packaging goes. Okay, well, this is a, a liquid highlighter, very thin line. I'm not going to um, swatch this at all. Okay, I <laughs> trying to put this lid back on this is a little bit difficult, so I'm gonna say I'm not really, I mean, it looks cool, but I'm just not really impressed too much with the packaging on this. But I'm not gonna use this because I have a lot of other eyeliners and I don't really tend to use a lot of liquid eyeliners, as you guys probably can tell. Um, so the next thing we have is from um, Mora, which is the Flirting Flamingos Exotic Series Eyeshadow Palette. So how cool. Oh wow, we got some neon colors in here. Look at this. Look at that, wow. I think we have received a palette from them before, but oh wow, I really want to play with these neon colors. Okay, I'm going to keep this just because of these neon colors. Oh, they're very buttery, but I really want to swatch this neon yellow. I want to see how it shows on the skin. Oh, so I think these are probably buildable because it does look a little patchy, but of course these are neon. And then I want to go into this neon orange. But they're very soft. They're very buttery. And here's the neon orange. So as you can tell, you can see it's a little patchy. But let's see how. So there we go. Yeah, it, it's workable. It, it's workable. So I'm going to clean my fingers here. Because I have another box that I want to open. And I don't want to put too many swatches on me because after 
I get done with this unboxing and then I have a bunch of running around to do. So I don't want to run around with the stains. I've had some eyeshadows actually stain my skin for like about a day or two. But really cool palette, so I can't wait to play around with these neon colors because I think that would be really cool. I don't have very, I do have the um, Urban Decay Electric palette um, that I played around with a couple of times. So adding these neon colors to the mix is going to be kind of exciting. Um, and I don't really play around with neon too much. That's kind of out of my comfort zone, but hey. You never know when the situation may arise or when you just want to be kind of funky. So anyway, so the next thing I have is my The Box by Fashionista. And this is actually the February box. So I am way, way late on doing these unboxings. Or is this March? Did I get a February box? Oh, wait a minute, this is my March box. So I actually have two boxes to open for them because I did end up receiving, because I never opened my February box. I just remembered, that's why I thought this was it. One second, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go grab my February box. I'm back, I'm back. I think, I think this is it. This is my February. And it's this it. Yes, I think this is it. I think the February box was the self-care and love. I can't remember. I really haven't been keeping up, you know, as far as social media is concerned. But we're going to go ahead and open this anyway because I remember I had another box that was unopened. Um, but I completely forgot about it for this one. I thought this was like from months ago. But anyway, here is the inside of the box. And I got the... Well, everybody pretty much gets the same thing, so I'm sure you guys have probably already seen the unboxings for this, but I'm going to unbox it anyway because I want to see what's inside. So anyway, so I got the Peace Water Aqua Fresh Gel Day Cream. Good stuff. Good stuff because I need moisturizers. So this is intense hydration. It enhances complexion and it calms the skin. And I got my handy dandy calculator with me today, so I did remember to grab that. Um, Peace Water, who is this by? I don't see it on the card. Oh, there it is. Is this the, uh, yes, the Aqua Fresh <laughs> Gel Day Cream um, retails for $22.50. Oh, actually I have a total value on the bottom of my freaking card here. Oh my God, I'm such a ditz. Well, anyway, so I'm glad I got a moisturizer. Really happy with that. Um, we also got the Herbal Dynamics Beauty, which is the Vivid Revival Mango and Green Tea Firming Eye Mask. Ooh, who doesn't love a good eye mask? Because I know I do. So yes, super, super excited to try this out whenever I get to it. I still had a lot of skincare that I'm going through. <clears throat> All right, so the next thing I have is from Noctex Cosmetics, which is a liquid lip vial. And it's in the color Lilies. I don't think I've ever gotten anything from this brand before. Ooh, oh, this is cool. Look at that. That is so awesome. And I do really like this color. I've got to swatch this one. I have to. Oh, wow. This thing is kind of hard to get out of here, but it just says liquid lip. So it doesn't say like if it's a matte or a cream, but oh, I love this color. But we're going to see exactly how it dries down during the video. So this is the color. Isn't that just absolutely gorgeous? I love this color. Oh, I hope it's a matte because I like matte. Oh, it is, duh. If I would have used my dumb, dumb brain and looked on the side of the box, it would say Velvet Matte Comfort Finish Formula. But we'll see how it dries down though. So hopefully there's no transfer. So we got that. So super excited. But I will read how much it costs. So there's... it. $18 is how much this liquid lip costs. Hopefully this is really comfortable to wear. 
Okay, so the next thing that we've got, and this is kind of wrapped up in a lot of bubble wrap, so I think it's a glass bottle. Let's see, let's see. Ooh, they really got this thing taped up really good. Ooh, so we have something from Measure MD Measurable Difference Difference which is a hyaluronic acid which repairs dryness, provides deep hydration to the skin, and promotes natural skin glow. So I wonder if this is like hyaluronic acid in its pure form. <laughs> I don't know. Well, there's probably, there's other ingredients in here too, which the main thing is water and butylene glycol. And it's also got glycerin. So hyaluronic acid is more or less, uh, there's some in there, but not a very high concentration. Um, so super excited to try this out. So this costs $15 for this little bottle here. It says that this hyaluronic acid can hold up to 1,000 times its weight in moisture, making it an ideal ingredient for deep hydration of the skin to keep a natural skin glow. This is vegan and cruelty free. So super excited. I love getting skincare. Okay, so the next thing that we got is the Bella Pierre HD Finishing Powder. So this is a high definition translucent powder. Not too sure if I'm going to be using this because I do have some other setting powders that I barely use. Um, so this will probably be gifted onto somebody in my family as well. And so this cost $35, jeez. So this is an impossibly smooth mica-based powder that mattifies and sets makeup in place, providing a silky, shine-free finish, ideal for using with the baking technique, and it's cruelty-free, and I don't bake. Um, so this will be definitely passed down to somebody. So we're gonna put that there. And last but not least, we got the Real Her Dreams So Big eyeshadow palette super cool and where's my handy dandy knife let's see what this baby looks like oh this is cute I do like those mauvey colors in there now I'm not sure if I already have this because I do know that I have a couple other Real Her eyeshadow palettes that we have previously gotten, I think from like BoxyCharm and Ipsy. So I'm not gonna swatch this because just for the simple fact is if I already have this palette, then I'm gonna be passing it on to somebody else and I don't wanna stick my fingers in there. So we're just gonna put that up, but that's super cute palette though. So if I don't have it, then of course I'm going to keep it. So let's put this stuff back in this little box here. So we got one, two, three, four, five. So we got six items in this box. And my total price for my box is a whopping $138.50. So super good value. Um, I am grandfathered in for the original price of $19.99, um, but I do believe the price has went up. I think it's like $22, but don't quote me on that because I'm not really sure. Um, I know it just, I know it went up in price point, like up in the 20s somewhere, but it's still a super good value. And I love the fact that they do deal with indie brands. So we're actually trying new companies, like smaller companies out because you never know what type of gem you're going to end up finding. Okay. So next we're going to go on to the Marchology box, which is my, da -da -da -da, my March box. So this says, reveal your inner warrior. Ooh. I want to be a warrior. Oh, so what do we have here? Oh, so we have the M Green Grass Dry Oil Spray and the fragrance Sweet Clementine. So I do know that we did get this um, dry oil spray in a previous box. I can't remember if it was Fashion Stuff or if it was a BoxyCharm box. I can't remember, oh my God. But ooh, sweet clementine. So this has fragrance notes of tangerine, mandarin, peach, bergamot, jasmine, mango, black currant, musk, and vanilla. Ooh, I'm super excited about this one. Oh, it smells 
so good. I'm keeping this. I think the other one I gave it away though. Oh, oh that's gonna smell so good on your body. So you can actually use this on everywhere. So you can spray and massage the oil directly into your skin and you can also use this in your hair. So which is really nice. You just take a little bit and rub it in your hands and just kind of massage it through. I wouldn't advise directly spraying it onto your hair because I tried that the first time and I had some patches where it was a bit too heavy on my hair and it took me forever and a day to try to work it out. Um, but how much is that? Oh, I got the wrong card. So the Green Grass Sweet Clementine Dry Oil Spray retails for $36. Okay, so the next thing that I have here is the Sahara Rose I Am Treasure Hydra C Serum. Who doesn't love a good vitamin C serum? So this retails for a whopping $54. So this is an all-in-one brightening and revitalizing uh, serum packed with a potent vitamin C, powerful antioxidants, super nutrients, and fruit extracts. And this is also vegan and cruelty free. So super excited to try this because this says this says brightening and plumping. Hmm. I might need to plump up some areas here and there. But I'm super, super excited to get that one. So thank you, Fashion Stuff. Okay, so the next thing we have is from art key tech which is a lip sculptor oh this is la splash <laughs> i was reading the wrong side of the box so it says right here but so i guess this is probably what it is this is a lip sculptor sculptor so i'm going to say that this is a lip liner and i do like the color if it is this color so this is supposed to be a dual ended sleek lip pencil with a highly pigmented lip color designed to line, define, and fill in. Oh, oh, fill in your lips. So this is kind of like an all-in-one thing. How cool. I do like the color, though. Okay, so here's the lip pencil. I want to see the color of it, though. It's very creamy. And this is the color of it. Very cool. And from the looks of it, it looks like on this side, okay. So this is like a smudger. So I guess you can fill your lips in and then you use this to kind of like smudge it and fill everything around. So super cool, can't wait to try this out. I do like this color, it's very pretty. And this retails for $10. And this is cruelty free. It doesn't say vegan, so I'm guessing it's just cruelty free. And, and the next thing that I have here, ooh, Medusa makeup. We got the Lip Witch Lash, which is vegan, cruelty free, thickening mascara. So y'all got, y'all know what I'm, well, I would say y'all know what mascara looks like, but I guess the wand can be different. So I'm definitely wanting to try this out because I don't think I've ever tried anything from Medusa Beauty. So super cool pink. Let's see what we have here. Ooh. So this is what the wand looks like. And of course it's your standard like jet black mascara. So super cool. Can't wait to try this out. So this retails for $14. This is supposed to be a super thickening waterproof mascara with fuller bristle brush this is vegan and cruelty free <clears throat> okay and last oh no there is something else in here i was about to say last but not least but i did find something else so let's go on to this before we move on to the more exciting item. Oh, so this is Lip Love. So this is a liquid gloss that retails for $12. This is a versatile product that can be worn as a gloss, highlight, or eye color liner for a natural glow that moisturizes and balances your skin, and this is vegan. So this is interesting. 
So you can actually, I don't know, how how would you use a lip gloss as an eye color without it transferring onto the eyes? I'm, I'm wondering what the, what the wand looks like. I mean, it's a really cool color. I do like the color. It's kind of like a brownie, coppery type, and it just has like a standard. I'm not going to swatch this just yet because I'm not really big on lip glosses. And I don't want to carry a bunch of lip glosses that I know I'm not going to use, so this might get passed on to somebody else. So this retails for $12 if I didn't already say it already. If I did, I apologize. All right, so last but not least, we have this super cool looking palette here. We have our warrior woman, Athena. Super cool. And I really like, um, I, um, and of course I love mythology and things like that. So this is super cool. So I want to see what this looks like, if I can get this tape off. At first when I saw this, I was thinking that this might have been from Lime Crime, which I would have been so excited if I would have got a Lime Crime eyeshadow palette because I have never tried, I've never had a Lime Crime eyeshadow palette. I've never even tried Lime Crime's eyeshadow formula. And ooh, so this does have a mirror and this is what the colors look like. This is super cool. So who is this by anyway? Ditto Cosmetics. I've never heard of Ditto Cosmetics. Okay, so I'm going to have to swatch a couple just to see. I'm curious. Okay, they're very soft. So this is a blue. And it goes on very light, so I'm guessing that it could be buildable. Um, yes, you can build. And oh, look how pretty that color dried down, down to. Now, it does still feel a little sticky, this, um, that velvet matte color. Okay, let's go into this green. These feel a little bit dry. They're not, like, super, super soft. This looks a little patchy, but I don't know. We'll try it out. I'll give it a shot. It's a, um, never heard of Ditto Cosmetics, so, and this is a orange shimmer now the shimmer looks really nice and it swatched very nicely so that's super pretty so definitely going to keep this i'm going to give this company a shot um probably do a review on it maybe i don't know it just really depends on my mood um when i want to do like review type videos it just really depends on my mood and my schedule am i too tired because sometimes when you're doing readings and stuff, you get really drained. And I have been doing paid readings um, because I do have an Etsy shop. So if you guys are interested in getting a paid reading, um, my Etsy link is in the description box below. So super excited about that. So I have been doing paid readings as well. Um, and I get really drained sometimes. So I don't really have the energy, you know, after working a full day and then coming home and trying to work on that and, you know, being a wife and everything else, it just it gets really draining. So anyway, so those are my two fashion stub boxes uh, for the month of October. Sorry about that. My hubby called. He is actually getting his motorcycle license while he's in class today. So he called me while he was on break. So anyway, so last, but we have our da -da -da -da, our Fab Fit Fun Box. <clears throat> so I did do a couple add-ons on this. So let's open this baby up. This is like one of my all-time faves out of my boxes because I love getting different stuff than just makeup all the time. So. And you see she's tacked up nicely and Odin can play around with all the packing in here. All right, so here's my add-on. So one of my add-ons was actually the Alice and Olivia tote bag. So we got a cute tote bag here. Or I think it's a duffel bag. My bad. Yes, it's a duffel bag. So and here is this cute 
black duffel bag. So I'm super excited about this because I need one of these. So I don't know about, I'm sure I'll find the prices because I haven't opened the actual box, but my add-ons are kind of on the side. And then the next add-on I did was the Gaim Studio Reflect Ultimate Core Toning Kit, which it comes with a toning ball and some resistance bands. So I'm super excited to add this into my workout regimen. Um, I just recently started walking an hour every day. And trust me, if you guys think that walking isn't an effective exercise, you're wrong because, oh my God, my certain areas of my legs hurt like never before. And that's probably because I'm using leg muscles that I haven't used in a long, long time. So I'm, I'm enjoying being outside and not being stuck in the house. So here is the actual spring box. Oh, we got some stickers. So here's the inside. And we got these cute little spring stickers. Isn't that cute? I do like stickers. Um, don't know what I'm gonna put them on. Maybe I'll start scrapbooking or something. And then we also got a $15 off your first FabFitFun box card. So this is something that you can send to somebody. Um, that way they get, you know, the 15% off on their very first box. And of course, y'all know we get our FabFitFun, um, uh, our little magazine here. So let's see if I can find the prices in here. Okay, so here's the price list. Okay, so the Alice and Olivia Tote, wow, actually retailed for $150. Wow, $150 for a duffel bag? You gotta be kidding me. But super glad that I got it for, in my FabFitFun box, so that's awesome. All right, so the Guy M Core Workout, it cost, if I can find it, Oh, here it is. It costs $50. And Odin loves sitting in the box. So, so far, we already have $200 worth of items just out of two things. So, this is what makes it so hard for me to say bye to my Bad Fit Fun box. <coughs> and you're not going to sit down with all that. All right. So, inside the box, we also got a, a Hello Fresh. Um, we got 13 free meals, including free shipping on your first box. So that's super cool. I've never tried them out. I've kind of wanted to, but not too sure because we usually, um, you know, we buy everything from the store. So I'm not going to show you what this is yet because I got to find the actual thing. So the next thing that I got is the daily planner. So I got the Steel Mill and Company to do planner. So this is super cute. Um, looks like it, oh, maybe I can use my stickers for this. How about that? And I can't find my knife. My knife is someplace. So I was gonna open this to look inside. Oh, here it is. So I really wanted a planner so that way I can try to plan out some videos and you know things for my channel. Well, actually, my other channel, both channels, because... Oh, come on, plastic. I hate trying to open these things up. This thing is, like, sealed in, like, really, really good. All right, so it came with um, two... These look like some type of pen or highlighter, so this is so cool. There's, like, pink and purple, green, so there's, like, different little colors. And then I'm guessing... Okay, so we got stickers with this, too, as well. So this is what the planner looks like and this is what it looks like on the inside so this is super cool and planners are not cheap in the least so this is why I chose this this was one of my selection items that I was able to choose so I did choose this and now I want to see how much this planner costs
Okay, so the Steel Mill and Company to do planning bundle cost $45. Would I pay $45 for a planner out of my own pocket? Probably not. <laughs> Just being honest here. All right, so the next thing that I have is <clears throat> these are like these little makeup. I think they're, I think it's a make, they're called beauty rounds. I did not choose these, Fab Fit Fun did, but we got three of them. And these are like super, super soft. <laughs> so, oh, okay, you can machine wash these. Tumble dry low. But it's so funny because it, it says tampons on here. I don't know if you guys can actually see this. I don't know if it's like for like a different country. Maybe it means something different. I'm not sure. Um, where's my price list? Okay, so. So these are reusable beauty rounds. So it says ditch your makeup wipes for these re for these reusable cotton rounds and these cost $15. So I do like reusable items to, you know, clean the makeup off of your face. Um, I do have my makeup erasers and I absolutely love them. So we're gonna put that away. We're gonna put this away because I'm really overflowing over here. All right, so the next thing that we have in here is the moisturizing hand scrub. And this is by Human and Kind. Never used a hand so hand scrub before, so this is going to be kind of cool. So it says, take extra care of your hands with this scrub that gently removes dead skin cells while leaving the hands oh so soft. And this retails for fifteen dollars. All right, what's next? What's next? Oh, oh, I got a hair scarf set. So this was picked by Fab Pit Fun as well, because this wasn't one of my choice items. So it comes in this cute little bag here. Oh, these are super cute. And I see people do some really cool things with these hair scarves. And I got this color here, so this is like super cool. So yeah, and I see people, they actually, you know, like they use them to like tie. I don't know how this is gonna fit around my head though, but that looks really cute if I was able to, because it's not that long, honestly. But this is super cute, so I will find some use out of these. And then I also have this one here, so this is like super adorable. I thought these were gonna be a little bit longer because I saw some photos like of people having them like around their head and then they had like a little excess on here, but that's okay because we'll figure out what to do with them because I really want to, you know, use these in some different hairstyles and stuff. So those are super cute and they feel really soft and silky. So these are the Larkin Ives hair scarf bundle. So they're super soft scarves that can be wrapped around your ponytail or bun, or you can tie them in onto your handbag as an accessory. And these cost $30. I would not pay $30 in real life for these, to be honest. But I love this super cute bag that it comes in. Okay, so the next thing I got is the Suns Out, Pouts Out, four pieces of gold foil lip masks. And of course, I will be using this. I do like um, lip masks. Um, let's see what the cost of these are. So it says, kiss dry lips goodbye. Botanicals extracts deeply hydrate and condition the lips for a smoother pout in minutes. And this retails for $16. Okay, so the next thing I got is a tweezers with pouch from Summer and Rose. Let's see what these look like. Oh, this is super cute. It has a little pouch. And these are like some little springy, some little springy tweezers. That is like so adorable. And I like that it has this little pouch that it comes in. So that's super cute. And 
This retails for $20. Okay, and I think I have one more item in here. Yep, so this is the last. Oh no, actually I have something else. So I also have the Verso Super Eye Serum with Retinol A. And I've actually received this before and I really, really like this eye cream and I did end up choosing this for that reason. And... See what the cost is. I, I think we got this out of a fashion stuff box at one time. So, and this retails for a whopping $65. And I really, really like this stuff. Okay, and then we have one more item. So, I did choose this because I really wanted to do this as I got the, this is called the Short Stories Lead Indoor Planter. So if you guys don't know, and I also got some basil seeds that come with this. So if you guys don't know what this is, I will show you a picture of it. So this is actually what this is, is this lead planter here where you can plant, you know, like herbs and stuff in your home. So this thing costs, So the indoor planter costs $60 and the seed packet costs $2.49. So plus 60 plus $2.49. So my total box was $468.50. And granted, this is a seasonal box and you only pay $50. So I'm gonna minus that $50 from here. So I got I got 400 and some dollars for 50 bucks. So I just, I can't give up this box. And you know, with the two add-ons that I added on to this was only $15 a piece. So I paid 50, 60, 70. So I paid $80. So we'll, we'll minus the 30 from that, but it's still 388, you know, after I take away what I actually paid for the box. So it's still a huge, great deal that you're getting here. And I want to make sure that I don't have anything else in here that I'm missing. So that's everything that I got in my Spring Fab Fit Fun Box. I'm super, super excited um, to have this box. I love my Fab Fit Fun Box. That's why it's so hard to contemplate on whether I want to cancel it or not because I get, I, out of all of my boxes, I have to say that this box really packs a punch on value. Um, you know, versus what you pay and how much you actually get out of it. Um, and, you know, you can choose some of your items. Um, if you're not a, a seasonal member, if you're a seasonal member, you get to choose five items. If you're a non-seasonal member, you get to choose three. But even with the add-ons, like the add-on that I did for the Alice and Olivia bag was only $15 and that bag retailed for $150. Like who would not want to pay that? Like, come on. So anyway, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, my little unboxing. Um, you know, shoot me a thumbs up, you know, give me some comments down below, just even if you're stopping in just to say, hey, because I, you know, I haven't been on in a while. So um, <clears throat> thank you to everybody, um, you know, for stopping by and watching my video. And um, thank you all for all of your love and your support. You know, even though I haven't really been on um, as periodically as I would like to. Um, but anyway, so don't forget if you guys want to check out my new channel, Divine Tryout 1111, please hit that link down below and go head on over there and subscribe. Um, I've got a lot of things in the works coming up. You know, things are taking some time, but I also have some really exciting um, news that I will be um, sharing on there. There's something that I have created personally and I'm super excited about actually revealing that to the world. So if you guys want to see that, then head on over there and subscribe. Come hang with me while I do some tarot readings and stuff like that. Um, I'm still going to be doing my glam readings though, so please don't worry about that. I am going to be doing those um, just not as consistently as I would like. Um, but anyway, so I hope that everybody has a magical, mystical, and wonderful day. And please keep the embers of love and happiness burning because we all know that the world needs more love and happiness. So until next time, I love you guys. Bye.